Well, it finally happened. Not only did Sidious basically compare Tarkin to Vader, but Thrawn as well. But it all basically started with Zara and the Rebels. We really got to know Commander Zara. Now more, she's being propped up by the Empire to ascend to the position of where Tarkin once stood. Is she worthy though? We will learn with time as Darth Vader said, but what today's focus is about is finally we get to hear from Palpatine what he really thought about not only Tarkin, who is now deceased, as the Death Star has been destroyed long ago, but also about Thrawn. In fact, there is a conversation right now happening in this comic on Coruscant after the Cloud City duel between Vader and Luke, where Darth Vader travels to the Imperial Palace to talk to his master. In that conversation, it is revealed the truth about Thrawn, about what Palpatine actually thought of Thrawn and how Vader might be inferior tactically to him. We're gonna talk about that shortly, but it starts in the Kessel mining facilities where stormtroopers are standing guard, and up above, Commander Zara is just overlooking the entire operation. An Imperial at that time walks in, tells Commander Zara that they have an incoming transition for her. Sarcastically, Commander Zara tells him that who would call the likes of her? Is it Emperor Palpatine himself giving her a medal? No, but it was close according to the Lieutenant. It is Darth Vader. This made Zara jump out of her seat. She ordered the Lieutenant to prepare her uniform at once. Vader, who had some time ago been introduced by Tarkin to Commander Zara knew exactly who she was. She was Elian Zara. She worked closely with Governor Tarkin before he unfortunately perished on the Death Star. Vader knew how fondly he spoke of her on occasion, and Vader knew that Tarkin had given her instructions on Tarkin's methods, strategies, and tactics. Zara agreed with Vader. Tarkin was once a great teacher a great mentor to her. Tarkin had molded her into what she became today, and that's when Darth Vader was puzzled. He noticed a note in her file indicating that she was to be given non-essential duties until further notice. You see, in a previous mission, Zara had failed Tarkin. Tarkin did not take this lightly. In fact, he wanted to punish her so severely that he downgraded her position, and this left Zara disappointed but hungry for more in order to prove herself to Tarkin, but unfortunately after his death, she now had no opportunity to have a chance of redeeming herself in Tarkin's eyes. Yes, Vader recognized the tactics of Tarkin, in fact that sounded exactly like him. He once taught him something as well, on a world called Chandler's Folly. Vader found Tarkin's lessons on that planet to be instructive. Now what Vader is specifically talking about here is issue number 18 of the Darth Vader 2018 comics, where Vader and Tarkin make a pact for Vader to have his sole weapon and by himself, and Tarkin to together with a group of Imperials to hunt him down. Tarkin got the upper hand in the end, but Vader did not give up so easily, and it was basically concluded to be a draw. And that's what Vader is inferring to here, but he continues with Zara. He says she will have her opportunity for redemption if she denies the rebels. Vader was placing her on charge of the efforts to hunt down the remnants of the rebel fleet and she will be giving all the necessary resources. Of course, this left Zara just clamoring for more. She will not fail him, and Vader assured her to not do so, as now not only Vader knew her name, but the Emperor knew her name as well. This will either be the greatest opportunity of, of her life, or the worst moment of her life. Time only will tell. Now how, you may ask, Vader came to this conclusion? Well, on that conversation that we talked about between Vader and Sidious. According to Vader, after destroying them on Hoth and trapping them on Cloud City, much of the rebel fleet has just scattered into smaller cells. But Palpatine was determined. They are to be hunted down and destroyed. Every last ship, every last rebel burned to ash. It must happen now while they're at their weakest, disorganized and afraid. Vader asked, is that his final wish? But now Palpatine went into pragmatic mode. 
You see, in the past, Thrawn or Tarkin would be the perfect people for this assignment, but both of them are now gone, and few in this empire had risen to the level of their skill. At first glance, you might be thinking that Vader is actually elevating Thrawn and Tarkin above Vader, which one could make the case tactfully not how mighty and powerful they are, that is of course Vader, but as far as military tactics, this revelation by Palpatine was something to behold really that Thrawn and Tarkin would have been his first choice, but what he says afterwards kinda negates this, so he goes on to say, I do not like delaying your search for the son of Anakin Skywalker, Lord Vader, but perhaps you must be the one to hunt down the remaining rebels. Is Sidious kind of mocking Vader here, trying to ease in the blow by telling him that he would have chosen Thrawn or Tarkin, but since they're gone, Vader needs to take charge, however he is busy with pursuing Luke Skywalker. But in a surprising turn of events, Vader the emotional wreck does not get offended by this or does not seem to be bothered in the slightest or do not seem to be bothered as he simply tells Palpatine, no, there is another referring to Commander Zara, of course, as he gives her the assignment to hunt down the rebels while Vader pursues Luke Skywalker, his son. You see, both Palpatine and Vader at that time were focused a lot on finding Luke and turning him to the dark side, while the rebels were minuscule at this point. However, Palpatine knew the importance of crushing them while they were weak, so it would have been amazingly interesting if Thrawn or Tarkin were still alive, would there be a conflict between between Vader or those two, between Thrawn possibly, as militarily they were far superior thinkers than anybody else, maybe even Vader who often gives in to his emotions. It's something to think about, but the mere mention of Palpatine uttering the words Thrawn or Tarkin leaves us unfortunately wanting, wanting for more, but both of those people, as Palpatine said, are gone. Now we can only see them getting mentioned once or twice there. What do you think would have been the the Imperial military if Thrawn would have still been around. I mean, certainly there's an argument there to be made about Thrawn and Vader, and sandwiched in between it's Tarkin as well. These people were very, very aggressively pragmatic when it came time to military operations, tactics, and long-term results, not just short-term. In the Rebel series, you can actually see Thrawn being his mighty, mighty self with his big brain plays, and I would imagine that Tarkin and Vader were more so. Vader, we know he's a brutish weapon, but Tarkin as well. You know that Tarkin has that mind in and of itself, although it failed him not only saving the Death Star, but saving his life as well, unfortunately. Talk to me down below in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoy it, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next videos and may the force be with you until then.